The Violin Guild has spoken. So I pose a question on uh, the Facebook group called The Violin Guild. It has about 40,000 members of string players and classical musicians of all kind. And I pose a question, what are some of your favorite classical music jokes? So in this video, I'm gonna be uh, exploring the 188 jokes slash comments that have uh, been posted in this thread. So stick around to the end of the video. This is gonna be a fun one. Hi there, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. Thanks for coming across this YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell notifications. That way when new videos come out on the channel, you get notified. So just for fun, I know that 2020, we, you know, it was kind of a like a dumpster fire year. And um, I just wanted to pose this kind of fun, lighthearted question into the Violin Guild. You know, what are your, some of your favorite classical music jokes? I gotta tell you, Y'all delivered. I mean, 188 comments, four shares. I mean, 37 people or so like the, uh, the board on Facebook. So I'm gonna read some of them uh, to you right now. And I'm gonna go based on the amount of likes per comment. So, okay, let's, let's get right into it. The first comment, the first joke, I actually know this person. What do lawyers and violists have in common? Everyone is happier when the case is closed. It's kind of funny. What else do we have here? Uh, dot 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 violinists who think they can play viola i mean i feel like in this thread there are a lot of viola jokes so beware there are, there are a lot of them oh this one's a, is not is a non-string one don't look at the trombone section it only encourages them and actually this is a joke that richard strauss made because if you look at the french horns you only encourage them have you ever heard a violist play a 30 second note he played one just to prove it yeah, okay, never mind. This one's pretty common, classical music joke. Mozart could never find his teacher because he was hiding. Oh, this one got a lot of traction. Uh, difference between an orchestra and a bull. The bull has horns in the front and an asshole in the back. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't say that all of these jokes were PG. This is a singer joke. How many sopranos does it take to change a light bulb? Just one. She stands in place and the whole world revolves around her. It's kind of funny. This is a string joke. Uh, how many second violinists does it take to change a light bulb? Another light bulb question. None. They just can't reach that high. I mean, it is true. I mean, second violinists, they hardly ever play in the stratosphere where the first violinists play. Um, so, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll hand this person that joke. This is funny. This is a Bach joke. J as Bach walks into the bank and the banker asks him, how may I help you? Bach turns his pockets inside out and gestures, I'm Baroque. <laughs> nice wordplay there. Nice wordplay, I like that, I like that. So this is kind of cool. This person in the group thread, he's, he said, uh, I heard this was Mahler's favorite joke at a fancy, and Gustav Mahler, the famous composer and conductor, uh, Gustav Mahler his favorite joke at a fancy dinner party he would say that was a great meal that was a magnificent meal that was one of the best meals ever and only an idiot wouldn't love it and then he turned to the person sitting next to him and said what did you think <laughs> it's kind of funny all right okay let's scroll down here out of the 188 comments let's see what else we have here oh man it's this is a really rough viola joke but anyways so this person writes how to get the best tremolo ever from a viola? Ask for a slow, long bowing. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty mean. I mean, not all violists do that. I mean, I actually know a handful of very good violists. Most of my friends are violists, believe it or not. They're a cool bunch, so viola crowd, I, I like you guys. How do you get three piccolos to play in unison? Shoot two of them. Really? Do we really need that? Oh, this one got a lot of traction in the thread. What is a string quartet? One good violinist, one bad violinist, and one failed violinist, and one person who hates violinists. <laughs> That's really true. I mean, it's actually really rare for string quartets to last for a very long time. You have to like really put your egos aside to really work together. So anyhow, I know that <laughs> in string quartet settings, that was the case in some, some times for me. Man, you all are like not kidding with this, with these viola jokes, my gosh. Oh, I think this one is my favorite one. I have never heard this one before. Why is the E flat minor chord the spookiest for classical musician to play? 
it gives them the EBGBs. <laughs> you get it? E flats, G flats, EBGBs. You know, if you're a classical musician fan, you think that's funny. Even if you're not a classical musician fan, that you gotta admit that's pretty funny. Well, this one I've never even heard before. This looks it looks really good. Um, it's a it's a brass joke. Do you know the trumpet handshake? Shakes hand. Hi, I'm better than you. <laughs> I mean, these are all like stereotypes and are they all true? Probably not. I mean, I mean, like when you go into a certain section of the orchestra, like it is kind of funny to kind of stereotype in that way. But come on. I mean, this is a classical music community and we're all we're all having fun here. And I pose the question. So, you know, here's another one. Why did Vivaldi get rid of all his chickens? Because they kept singing Bach. Like, bak, 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 bak. You can definitely relate to this next one. Uh, I was in a string quartet rehearsal and definitely there was a dynamic that says piano espressivo and this joke could not be more true. What is the marking for forte on the cello score? <laughs> piano espressivo. Because they all play forte. I mean, come on. You, you, cellist, I mean, do us a favor. I mean, you can play a little less. It's okay. You don't have to play forte all the time. I mean, I know that like in a string quartet, like you're in the middle and you provide the sound, but all in all, like give us a chance to shine, you know? A lot of like jokes uh, that are like viola related. Uh, there's also like a lot of shooting jokes. Like this is, man, everybody's kind of raw in this one. This person writes, how can you get a dozen bagpipers to play in tune together? Shoot 11 of them. I mean, come on. I mean, do we really have to keep shooting people to, <laughs> to make the joke funny? I mean, it, it is kind of funny, but let's, maybe let's, let's like ev evolve from the, the shooting jokes and see where we can go from here. This is, by far my favorite one. I think this one gets like my stamp of approval, this person. Um, what's the longest viola joke? Harold in Italy by Berlioz. <laughs> and if you know the context of this, I mean, pretty much it was, it's, it's an orchestra piece accompanied by viola. It's just the most hilarious thing. I mean, people still perform it and people, orchestras around the world still perform it. I mean, hardly ever, but if they do, I mean, that is like a viola joke in itself, that entire piece. There you have it. Those are all the classical music jokes I found really fun in the Violin Guild. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. That way when new videos come out, you get notified. Question of the day, what is your favorite classical music joke? I wanna, I wanna read all of them in the comments below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.